Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to discuss about some real-time important questions into database testing. As we know, working as a QA in IT field, we need to have experience uh, working on a database. We need to have experience working on API and also functional testing. So database testing is very much important. So uh, we will discuss some questions which are frequently asked. So uh, as you can see on the screen, we are having this table given this is the question and this is the expected output we have to write a query to get this output now let's look at the question from product price table in this table write an sql query to find total and average market price for each currency where average market price is greater than 100 and the currency is inr or aud aud is nothing but australian dollar and inr is our currency okay so we have to write a query where we will get total and we will get average so we have to use aggregate functions for each currency so we will have to group by the currency and we have some condition given that is the average market price is greater than 100 and the currency is into INR or AUD you can pause the video here and you can uh, start writing the query try it yourself and then you can compare the answer okay now i'll tell you the answer or the query which we can use for this what we need we need three columns currency total price and average price okay so the query will be like this select currency sum of market price as total price okay we need total of market price and average of market price as average price so we are using alizes to use some short names for this aggregated columns total price and average price total price average price from product price this is this is our table group by currency okay so group by currency then we are having a condition that the market average of market price is greater than 100 now we know whenever we are using group by clause we need to use having we cannot use where okay so group by currency then having having average market price is greater than 100 and currency in AUD and INR so average market price is greater than 100 and currency is in INR or AUD so I hope you were able to write down this query you can compare the query and run the query and see if you are getting the same output or not okay this way we can do so in interviews this type of questions are there where you will have a table and you will have a output table you have to write a query to get this table okay let's move towards next question so our next question is very usual that you will be given a table sometimes they don't even give you the table they will only ask that how can we find third maximum salary or maybe third minimum salary S second ma maximum salary or second high salary second minimum salary like that they will ask okay so there are multiple ways to get this done let's look at I have written two queries here which can be used so here also you can pause the video and you can try and write the query and then you can compare your query with the query which I have written okay so first query I have written using uh, sub queries so this is a main query select maximum salary from employees will where salary not in so as we can say you can also call it as a nested query so the inner query will execute first so what is this select maximum salary from the employee table so it will figure out what is the maximum salary now it will go to second query select maximum salary from employee where salary not in so other than 75,000 what is the maximum salary this will be the result of second inquiry 70,000 now it will move to the outer query select maximum salary from employees where salary not in so it will exclude 75,000 and 70,000 and it will give us 60,000 as a result which will be your third maximum salary okay another approach where we can use a ronum which is a pseudo column in uh, oracle so the query can be this is the short query compared to this query select minimum salary from employee where salary now focus on this query what we are doing 
so select salary from employee where ronum is less than 4 ronum less than 4 means it will return 3 rows okay less than 4 means 3 rows order by descending so first it will order the salary in descending order like 75,000, 70,000, 60,000, 50,000, 40,000 like that less than 4 so it will return only 3 rows 75,000, 70,000 and 60,000 and mini minimum salary from these 3 rows will be 60,000 so this way you, you will be able to find out third maximum salary okay this way we can do now here are the records are very limited let us consider you are having thousand records and interviewer is asking like can you find out the 100th maximum salary or 150th uh, minimum salary in that case what you will do <clears throat> so for that we need to write one generalized query so next question is how to find nth salary right so I have also uh, placed logic here so you can understand it easily so focus on this question how to find nth salary so we can simply use uh, this logic here the query will be like this select maximum salary from employees even okay so we are treating a single table as a double table the way we uh, use it in self join so the query will be select maximum salary from employees even where n n could be any number equals to select count distinct salary distinct we are using to avoid duplication so if there are similar salaries then it will avoid those similar salaries it will only pick the distinct salaries from employee e2 where even salary less than or equals to e2 salary now how this works we are taking this column from this table okay employee salary table so let us say uh, we are treating is at two table even and e2 the column will have same values so the way it works focus on this particular condition even salary less than or equals to e2 salary now if i want to find a third maximum salary third maximum salary so let us say even dot salary less than or equals to e2 dot salary so 40,000 is it less than or equals to 40,000 we are comparing salaries from this column with this column so 40,000 is less than or equals to 40,000 yes less than or equals to 50,000 yes less than or equals to 70,000 yes now count is 3 less than or equals to 35,000 no less than or equals to 75,000 yes less than or equals to 60,000 yes so the count is total 5 we are we need 3 3 equals to but the right hand side is having 5 number so it's not matching the condition that's why 40,000 cannot be your third maximum salary okay so uh, now if you compare 60,000 so 60,000 is it less than or equals to 40,000 no 50,000 no 70,000 yes 75,000 yes 60,000 yes so here count is 3 60,000 is less than or equals to three entities in the column 70,000 75,000 and 60,000 so this three is matching with this three so you will get the result as 60,000 as your third maximum salary so on the basis of this logic you will get the answer okay so if interviewer asks you for the second highest or third highest you can always go with this approach okay even fifth highest sixth, sixth highest you can use this query but if the count is little high like 100th or 150th or 200 in that case we can use the generalized query now let's move towards next question so most of the time what happens is the data is getting loaded into the tables every time whenever we have to do any new validation we need a fresh data now interviewer might ask that how will you check if the new data is getting loaded into the that particular table so we have this simple uh, query that select count star from let us say table name is transaction history so we can run this query count function will count number of records or number of rows in that particular table so let us say before processing if the count is thousand 
it's having thousand record and after processing the count is 1005 what does it means it means five new records are added five new records are added this way we can do we have another approach also where we use minus set operator so let us say the transaction history we can move records from transaction history to transaction history backup and the new data will be loaded into the transaction history table so we can use minus operator to see if any new records have been added so what it will do it will minus new records with the old record so similar records will get cancelled out and new records will populate in the result in that way you can show that new records or new data has been loaded in the tables okay next question is again we are having tables and output table okay so if you focus we are having two tables first table is having is training and another table is for users okay now what is the question question is write a query to get the list of users who took the training lessons more than once lessons more than once in same day okay group by user and training lesson so it's directly saying that you we need to use group by uh, clause for user and training lessons each order from most recent lesson date to oldest date. so here we can use order by in descending order so it will show uh, latest dates uh, up front and oldest date at the bottom this is your output table we need output as this table so you can pause your video here and you can try writing the query what will be the query we are having two tables we will have to join these two tables which one is the common column user id is the common column so based on user id we can join these two tables then we want user id username training id and training date so we'll have to group by training date also because for the same day how many lessons have been attended that we need to find out so focus a little read question again these two tables we are having pause the video here and try to write down the query i will show you the answer in a bit okay now let's look at the answer so first what we'll do we will we will take the columns which we want in our output so uh, select count training id as session attended this column is nothing but your session attended okay then u dot user id u i am using as analysis for users table and t i am using for training table okay so we want user id so u dot user id comma u dot username then t dot training id and t dot training date now we'll have to join the tables so from training t inner join user u on u dot user id equals to t dot user id we are having these two tables as column uh, common right user id user id okay then we have group by so whenever you are using group by clause remember one thing in a select query how much columns are there where aggregate function is not used for example count is aggregate function which is used on training id okay but this other columns user id username and training date there is no aggregate function so you have to use all this column in your group by clause so group by u dot user id u dot username training id training date all the four columns i have mentioned in group by clause now we have to find out that uh, t dot training id is greater than one so in the question only like more than once in a same day we have to find out users who took the training lessons more than once in a same day so we need training id should be greater than one and order by t dot training date descending okay why because we want most recent lesson date at the upward and oldest date at the downward okay so this is the query which can be used to get this as a solution so I would request you that you can see these tables, pause the video, write your own query and then compare your query with my query and mail me if your solutions are working or not. If any questions you are having, you can ping me on my mail ID. 
otherwise i'll be up, up to, uh, uploading the videos on our channel okay so thank you for watching do subscribe like and share bye bye